1111 code. I am going to talk about the two most powerful words. Before I tell you the words, you need to be aware that the words work positively and negatively. So we don't want to use these words in a negative way. Pure positive for the best results. The two words are I am. That's right, I am. So powerful these words. Got to use them wisely. If you use I am and then you say you're going to do XYZ, you've got to follow that through now because you're affirming with I am. If you don't do the action, then I fear that you will lose your power. Start losing the power of the I am. Be treated like a power meter. You know, if you do your I am's, say you're going to do something, then you follow it through with the action, then you're keeping the power of the I am. Some would like to say you're keeping your integrity. So then, if you are practicing that, you can also use I am's for your life. As in, you can be saying, I am successful, or I am rich, I am healthy, I am wealthy, all types of I am's for yourself. When you keep doing these repetitively, with repetition, say daily, give it say 30 days, then you'll start getting inspired into action. And remember, we need to do the action as well. There's another way you can use these powerful two words for your personal self, as in, maybe you've got something coming up, a meeting or an interview or an exam or, you know, there's a lot of things you may be into where you need a bit of confidence. So if you were so you had a few weeks, this important meeting, or whatever the case may be, you can practice I am, as in I am confident. And then by the time it comes when you need that confidence, it will be there. But this is more of a, say, a temporary I am. Because if you're not genuinely confident, then you can, this is like a temporary measure, you can put this in place, you'll have confidence for a while, and then it'll probably fade again unless you are saying it over and over, repetition goes into your subconscious, then yeah, you'll be inspired to be confident into different actions you haven't taken before. Then inevitably, you will get confident. So there's still a possibility that you can gain confidence just by saying, I am confident. But like that, if you are knowing which you, what you are, if you are happy or a friendly person, then affirm that to yourself with I am. You can say I am loving, I am friendly, genuinely, genuinely are. Then just do them anyway. It'd be good for you, it's good empowerment. So let's look it over again. Remember, I am to work positively and negatively. So you don't want to be saying negative things to yourself with I am in front of it. So just be mindful of where you're using your I am's. And they are powerful, these I am's, trust me. I mean, I like math. I like geometry. I've done a video on this. And I disclosed I am comes up in a number sequence first. Just throw this down for you quickly. There's a number sequence there. It's the one in the middle. Look. The one, two, four, eight, seven, five. That's like the nine code to me. The number nine code. I mean, could be the three, six, nine code, but I'm not going to say it is. Then that led me to some geometry. And if you use that number sequence in the geometry, as you'll see, let me see if you can see that one. 
it might be cancer. That says, oh, uh, it's there in geometry. That gives it more power for me. I like my, my geometry, my sacred geometry. I like my math. It's there. Same as I am, it's there. It's everywhere. So remember, keep that meter high. Keep it your I am meter on its maximum. Use your I am's carefully. Well, good luck. I hope some of you find this useful. I am here that I am. I am 11 of a code. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And I love you all. Peace.